2,000 years before this observatory was built in Ohio, the Hopewell were also carefully watching the heavens. Scientists are only recently beginning to understand just how carefully. Over the past decade, two professors from Earlham College have been methodically investigating Ohio's ancient earthworks for astronomical alignments. Dr. Ray Hively, a professor of physics and astronomy, and Dr. Robert Horn, a professor emeritus of philosophy. While teaching a course on cosmology, they wanted to test claims made about England's most famous prehistoric structure, Stonehenge. Many scientists profess Stonehenge as an ancient observatory. I thought at the time when we heard this evidence that much of the evidence was over-interpreted and that many of these claimed alignments were probably accidental. And frankly, I became very skeptical about the field as a result of that. And I thought it would be fun to go to some other local site and prove that you could make a case that any site was an astronomical observatory. And so it was a rather cynical uh, motivation that originally brought me to Newark. Dr. Horn chose Newark's octagon because he could account for any historical changes made to the earthworks. When Bob brought me to the site, which like many people I had never heard of, frankly, uh, I was uh, overwhelmed by the uh, spectacular achievement that the construction of these earthworks represent. It has a, uh, a scale and precision in it that I had never expected. In fact, the entirety of Stonehenge could fit in one tiny corner of the octagon. During an extensive survey, Hively and Horn searched for evidence of the solar alignments claimed by many earlier writers. And I was startled to find that I couldn't find any solar alignments, none. And indeed, all the claims that had been made previously were erroneous. And I was somewhat startled because there are so many sight lines at this site that you would expect some solar alignment simply by accident. And since there were no solar alignments at all, uh, that is really what got me to thinking that maybe uh, there weren't any solar alignments because they were trying to align to something else. It was the moon. In all, Hively and Horn found eight lunar alignments encoded in the walls of Newark's octagon. We don't measure things by suns, we measure things by moons. Uh, we, we were mostly, much more closely related to the moon as, as uh, compared with the sun. My teachings when I grew up and all my family is, you don't do anything without the moon, whatever it tells you to do. We still plant crops by the moon. Um, we, we dehorn calves by the moon. We do practically every functional daily thing we do involves the, the moon signs. But we don't have the same thing as regards to the sun. I see the Aztec sun signs and, and the Hopis and, and the Incas, and, but we don't have that in the woodland culture. Hively and Horn discovered something even more astounding. The octagon marks the maximum and the minimum rise and set points of the moon. This means the Ohio Hopewell measured the moon over a period much longer than a single year. The evidence suggests Hopewell astronomers charted the moon's entire lunar cycle, a complex cycle that takes 18.6 years to complete. Even to this day, I, I think it's very important that one consider the possibility that some of the alignments were accidental, and you can never prove with absolute certainty that, that, that these things were set out for this purpose. But on the whole, I came to believe that uh, the hypothesis of deliberate lunar alignment to mark the 18.6 year lunar cycle is the best hypothesis that has been put forward thus far to explain all the major features of, of the site.